Let's start with the subassembly process. This is a one-time process. The boom base, spreader, and other parts installed will remain on the machine. This is the load moment indicator, or LMI. For subassembly, the LMI should be in setup mode. To do this, push the setup icon on the LMI and hold it for three seconds. This will discontinue the alarm and allow all of the control functions to operate as the machine is being assembled. For safety, first raise all handrails and install the ladder. To install the boom base and the upper spreader assembly, an assist crane will be necessary. To help during erection, place the boom base and support box near the main machine. First, you'll need to clean the boom foot pins and bushings of any dirt or grime. Apply a coat of clean grease to the pins and bushings. Lift the boom base with the assist crane for installation. Install the boom base using the shims provided to take up any excess side play as needed. Do not force the shims into place. Using the assist crane, we'll now install the backstops on the machine. These are stamped left and right to indicate the proper mounting locations. Apply a coat of Never Seize to all mounting pin locations. Lift the backstop and connect to the boom base. Once these are aligned, insert pins and keepers. With the boom base in place, remove the upper spreader assembly from the support box and place it on top of the gantry. For support, use suitable blocks and mount on top of the gantry. Reeve the boom hoist cable through the upper and lower spreader. Follow the reeving diagrams shown in the operation and maintenance manual. Install the wedge socket on the dead end of the boom hoist wire rope and pin it to the boom hoist winch location. Place wood across the boom base to support the wire rope. Using the assist crane, lift the spreader assembly. Pay out the boom hoist cable as needed in order for the upper spreader to be pinned to the boom base. This will leave approximately three wraps of cable on the boom drum. Now pin the spreader to the bracket mounted on the boom base section. You'll need to take up the slack in the boom hoist cable by rotating the drum. Make sure the boom hoist wire rope is tight on the drum and is lying properly. Connect the two harnesses from the boom base to the main machine. One is for the ATB system and the other is for the boom angle sensor. In the cab on the LMI screen, push the setup mode. Now we'll remove the protective tape from the boom stop switch on the right rear section of the boom base. Working lights with mirrors should be installed to the cab handrail. On the left side of the machine, the mirror should be installed on the handrail and one for the boom hoist should be installed on the upper deck. Another working light will be installed on the left side of the machine under the top step. Also install the windshield wipers to the front and top of the cab. Install the four counterweight lift links to the back of the machine. The machine is supplied with a set of tools and one set of filters. These items should be placed in the storage compartment. The operation and maintenance manual, along with the laminated load chart, must be placed inside the operator's cab. Cabelco also provides a fire extinguisher that should be kept inside the cab. This completes the sub-assembly of the machine. Please note that this is a one-time process. The machine will transport in this configuration. The total weight of the machine without the optional third drum is now 84,200 pounds. If the machine were equipped with a third drum, the total weight would be 90,300 pounds. The CK1600G sub-assembly is now complete.